love myself. I love myself. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I'm going to go ask Mama again this time. I love you all. Um, sending you guys good vibes all the time. I wanted to know, besides the uh, aloe vera plant, what else do you guys use in your hair? Like to moisturize it or um, to keep it so shiny? What else do you use? She used this water with essential oil, and I usually use rose water with aloe vera. Just nice. Nice. Rose water. Nice. That was my question. You guys are always beautiful every time I see you. I love you so much, Afro. Um, Y'all have a good night. That's all I wanted. You too. Have a good night. Thank you so much. I love you too. Bye-bye. Y'all seen Wizzy on the panel before she came? Yeah, we got, we got, we got to have a panel. It was Wizzy the guy. Yes. Yeah, I used to be on the panel a lot for him. What's on the cracker? That's the pizza. That's the pizza. <laughs> it's veggie pizza. She couldn't hold the food for she. Oh. Yeah, it's Wizzy. <laughs> oh, they don't know who you are. Yes, this is the like, oh, that's the girl. Yeah, we just changed my name to Knowledge. Three princesses, Linda. I gotta learn Spanish all the way. You come dance, I am Cindy. <laughs> you come to dance. You come dance. So y'all not answering questions about Cindy. Malia. Isn't Malia here? Why are y'all yeah. always on that? Hey, come on, you should be living your life. Yeah. Watching me, watching me. I already have love. Wait, it's nice to be in tune with who you're really supposed to be. Okay, right. my name is Silence. Okay, well, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have another caller. You're going to be respectful. Oh, you don't have a name. Oh. And so you're not going to be coming up. Sorry. Okay. All right, can you send We do you? things very legit over here. Okay. You make black soap. Why do you want to see my belly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she said she wants to see Yeah, y'all. Uh, y'all want to see I really want to see Wow, look at her. Wow. Somebody eat the in front of y'all. Oh, we all eat the in front of y'all. Look what Mama Sheba got. Look what Mama Sheba got. I'm about to eat this, so I don't want to eat in front of everybody. Show me your mouth Ah, yeah, exactly. Please, thank you very much. What's oh, yeah. that? What's it says that? Hey, star. It says, um, okay, so all right. Mama, I made some fried rice pepper tacos. Mm. Oh, my God. This was bomb. I was about to heat it up. I didn't know it was all that. I'm jealous. Oh, well, that's <laughs> That was bomb. That was the best taco I've ever had. Don't worry. Oh, look at that. This is not a meat. Wait, wait, what's that? Those are um, fish tacos. Amazing. They were. I was over there saying, like, I'm going to finish this plate. I got full on. Like, I'm going to devour the rest of this. Y'all want some pizza? Yeah, I'm about to go get some. Okay, want me to switch? Yep. Okay. So I'm about to say, because I'm really about to eat this. Yeah, and I don't want to like, look at that. I want you to eat it in their face, too. I want you to eat it right in their face like a mother <laughs> bear. Show these people honor. It was good. It was good. I'm good. I'm good. If I get up, I'm going to be naked, so. Hmm. Oh, I can just, yeah. Okay. 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 Who wanna have a mukbang? Y'all, we about to have a mukbang. Oh my god, I'm just feeling it. Y'all got us on the box, I'm thankful. Yo, what happened? Excuse me. This is crazy. It's good, huh? This taco is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. She like fried it. Oh, yeah, with the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Oats. So it's like bon appetit. It's like it's fried, fried fish tacos. Mm. And it's red snapper, so it's just like, and it got avocado on it, so it's just like, oh, is mukbang just for and seafood? Calorie. Oh yeah, no, yeah. mukbang is for anything. I do think when people do it, it's usually seafood, but I mean, this is red, fried red snapper, so like, and a pizza has shrimp on it, so technically. She be here beautiful. They said, um, what, what do y'all do to keep y'all skin beautiful? It's the UVB sun for me. It's the sunlight. Ooh, yes. I'll be going out there. 
Bacon. Seriously. And the diet, of course. The diet. Because, you know, usually when people um, have different bumps or anything on their face, it's usually because of what they're putting in their body and it's trying to come out. But if you put in good things in your body, then, you know, nothing's going to come out. Okay, this is what Mama Sheba sales are doing right now. After eating that taco, they like, yes. <laughs> they said, like, what a fire is that? Oh, oh, she's uh, she's oh, I gotta go oh. get you some. I'll be back. Uh, Zoga Mama Sheba. Wait, show them those. I'm probably crazy. I don't mind eating your face. Okay, that's how the nuts shit. This fry, you don't need any grub. They are, huh? right? Look at that. You see a little seasoning on there. Hold on, this is how people be doing it. <laughs> it's your girl. Why you trying to be a hater? It's your girl. Why can't you just be my girl? Why can't we just be girl? Like, wow. Yeah, I hear that crunch. Oh my god. Just be cool. Like, just be cool. Oh my god. Hmm? I can move the chair. She just sat back there all cool. I put a lot of um, vegan sour cream. Good. And hot sauce. She said dip it in some vegan sour cream. Look, they already know. Hey, right, you already she know. Said, dip it in that. Dip it in that vegan sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you do it. Y'all record this. Me eating. Louisiana hot sauce or not? Right. Hey. Oh. <laughs> this is a mukbang. Okay. Louisiana. I wasn't eating this thing though. Oh, you can't come up here and communicate with us. Call it if y'all want to talk to us, please. Oh my God, y'all see this fry? I'm probably just crazy. Mama Aya. Aya. Oh my God. Aya papaya. It's fire. Mama Aya made it. We are real happy you guys eat it. Mama Aya made Why would you not be happy you got food? I'm always happy. Why are you not grateful? healthy food. Wait. Why are you not eating the McDonald's, so I'm real happy. Vegan blue cheese? That sounds weird. How would you make it taste like that? Mm. Oh my gosh. That There's not even no cheese in here. Like. No cheese. Oh, no. oh yeah, it's no cheese. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, it says close the legs. Mm -hmm. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Thanks for looking out. Yeah. yeah. Thankful. Good looking out, y'all. A lot of people. Oh, don't you out here being free? Mm hmm. Got back to the jungle, I don't know how to act. I'm tired of this thing. I got one left, y'all. Oh, them tacos is big. Well, I only had two. I was just, they, I just filled them up like. No, I'm lot. saying. See, I put the avocado the on there. I'm making tacos for you. Yeah, Mama, I usually makes it look pretty, but I put this together, so this don't make no sense. This don't make no sense. I just did a damn thing because I Mama Aya, and I filled it up like it's not it's really supposed yes. to be this big. Like Mama Aya, it's supposed to be that big. I'm making that big. They supposed to be take a good bite. Yes, yeah, take a nice got little that. bite. Mama, that. focus. <laughs> the avocado got the red onions. Um, yep. Cabbage. Just don't forget the little fish it has right there. on there. Yeah. They got the fish. Um, it's also some some rice Ooh. and some beans in it. Um, carrots and tomato. Pini and avocado. Right. Like, that looks bomb. Look at all fucked up. Man, fries. Homemade fries is like the. Yeah. It's a healthy looking taco. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's healthy. <laughs> Tacos. Tacos, baby. Mukbang. <laughs> they said share that. Sure, sure. we share it right now. Yo, the fries is crazy. Look how they look. It's like, that shit is bomb, bro. She's seasoning them to fast. No, we don't fast. Well, we do fast. Because when you sleep in, you fast them. And that's when you get up and you break the fast. <laughs> No, this isn't our first meal. We're snacking right now, basically. Oh yeah, we um we eat at Solar Noon. 
And then around this time, we would get hungry again, so we eat something else. So we have we have like three big ass pizzas, <laughs> and we all just went in like no plates needed. Mm. Why we don't bad? She didn't make these tortillas, but we do make tortillas. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, we never tried uh, the, the ghee butter. I don't know if I pronounce it. The ghee, ghee, ghee butter. Never ghee tried butter. it. The ghee butter. We never tried it. It's like ghee coconut oil cheese. mixed with something else, right? I've never used it. We never tried it, but probably will one day. How I so made butter. I just added salt to coconut oil. So somebody oil. asked why we don't fast, and somebody asked you guys to eat three meals a day. So hmm. you know, we can answer that. So I'm done. So, why we don't fast is because you fast every night when you sleep. There's no really point to fasting when you're eating the right food. There's no need to fast. Your body mm -hmm. needs nourishment. Yeah, it's, it's if you're eating wrong and then you fast and eat wrong, but then you get off your fast and then you eat wrong again, it doesn't make sense. So, we just don't fast because we just eat the right food. Mm -hmm. um, do we eat three, three meals a day? I wouldn't necessarily call them meals. Yeah. Like we eat uh, more than three times a day, but I wouldn't necessarily call them meals. Our meal is at solar noon. That's it's the biggest meal that we have. Mm -hmm. And then, like you see, I'm eating two tacos. Usually, if this was solar noon, I'll eat like three or four of these things. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I'll probably eat another one or something. But I won't eat like a, another three of them. Like I won't eat like another whole entire meal unless I feel like I want to. Then I will. But it depends. Like some yeah. meals, like pasta or pizza, I can get hungry later. Sometimes, like, a meal will fill you up for a day, and you can, like, just eat nuts and food, and you'll be yeah. good. Yeah, that's true. Good. Yeah. Especially depends on your energies, too. Yeah, or what you did. Like, I went hiking, so I was definitely right. grateful to eat again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got your energy. Exert that energy. Yeah. And get it back. A lot of people are fire. They burn a lot of energy quick, so they have to eat more. They have to put more energy in the body. But some people, like, earth, who have a lot of earth energy, they don't gotta eat that much because they naturally hold on to energy. Mm -hmm. Make kale tortillas? Right. Maybe, maybe it's so. Could definitely try that. That's different. Kale tortillas? I don't know. It's like kale wraps. This is a kale wrap. Mm. How do we adjust our bodies? Well, we've been eating like well, how we eat for. Our environment more damn food. Yeah, being no, in the I'm sun. I'm a naturally thin person, y'all. Like, I'm not usually getting that much. Being weight. in the sun really helps me not want to be hungry all day. Because the difference when I was in, when we were in Babylon, when we got people wanting us back in Babylon so bad, then we went back. When we went back, we was eating more during solar noon. Excellent. Because, like, you don't have the sunlight in there. It's not feeding you. You're not nourished. You're not outside. Now, here I'm outside. The sun is feeding me. I feel hot. I feel like completely full. So I'm not eating. Mm -hmm. A little bit in the AM. Maybe a smoothie, fruit, nuts. Yeah, nuts. And it's like some people eat for like comforting and like I know, like in Babylon, when it gets cold, people want to feel good because they're really depressed from the lack of sunlight. So sometimes people eat to make themselves happy or feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm not here. You're gonna have to just face yourself if you're hungry. You have people come and be like overeating, and it's like you're eating because you're trying to fill a void. Sometimes I can do that. I can do that sometimes, like comfort eat. Like, yeah, I do comfort eat. I like cook. I fight once something. Don't overdo it though. I eat something when I'm kind of bored and not doing anything. Oh. Like, mm -hmm. Snack once. Just feel like I'm doing something. Like, mm -hmm. like that's why I need nuts, pretzels, and peanut butter. Tomorrow. No, I'm not talking about anyone here. They left, clearly. They left. Because you can't overdo it, though. Yeah, no. Yeah. We don't talk to men. We don't men allow. Yeah, it's fresh food. Who are you? Mind your business. Uh, yeah, that's real though. You, yeah. I'm very peaceful. I'm very calm right now. 
we finished. <laughs> I'm eating pizza and um, scrape my pizza. I'm about to say vegan pizza, but it has shrimp on it. <laughs> we need an air fryer, you know what? TT just got us an air fryer. Blessing us. TT is blessing us. I'm not sure if I can have some. Please stop calling him. <laughs> we don't talk to men, y'all. Ladies only. Ladies can call up. Yeah, up. please, ladies, call up. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you if you like to talk to us. Yeah, call in. Ask questions. Question. Mama Aya does all the cooking. Uh, Aya's sister. Yeah, Mama Sheba. Yeah, yeah, we all just assist. We all just assist mm -hmm. when she needs our help. Oh, Caribbean gal. Hey. Hi, Zoka. Hi, everybody. Peace, God. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. How are you? Y'all look beautiful. <laughs> well, I just tuned in. I just wanted to say hello to you guys. You guys look stunning. So, just had to say that. Thank you for tuning in and watching us. Thank you. Of course. All right, ladies. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Thank you. I love myself. I love myself. Questions? Questions? They will live. Right. You just go off. Never mind. Back with myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. It's the guy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just need to play pop up, but. It's no one. No one. No. Do y'all fry y'all foods or bake? It depends on. Depends on what we're doing. Usually bake or. Saute. Yeah. We don't talk to men, y'all, so y'all can stop calling up. Um <laughs> Y'all can get these no, little things. Yeah, a lot of people are mentally mentally underdeveloped. Yeah, they're not even short bus. Beep beep. on me. I keep thinking that says look at the guy, but that says Z. I was hearing that earlier so who is this? Ghana Iman, you're a woman, right? Or you always oh, you said you're both. <gasps> oh, okay, so you're just like a poor person. I don't think that's a real. I don't think that is either. Uh -huh. that is but if you are a I'm woman, you should call up because you have a lot to say. Yeah, ask us a question. <clears throat> what are you guys talking about? Y'all about to get muted. Look. Come on, y'all. I like to say in the comments, but not to our face. Who's this? I don't want you to get to the room. We should go live in the horizons to show like a stretch and believe. That'd be dope. Y'all want to let this person know? Yeah, sure. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Well, what? Right. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm just trying. Just see the pop on. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm ready to pop on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? Good, how are you? Can I treat your way? Say that one again. How are you? I'm good. How are you, darling? Thank you. Thank you so much. Calling our channel to know what. And I go. I'm a Banga leader. I see. Thank you, Magira. Ki kore kani. Ederke, Deco, Ederke Gali, Ederke Gali de Lorena Buspena. How the Bangali Jarasu Deco? Hi, hello. I can't keep my gear, I can avoid it. I can't keep this. Wow. I'm Bangladesh, take a bolt here. I Ederke Gali de Lorena Buspena, Taina. I love myself, I am God. Mashallah, thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Peace, God. It sounded like it was good energy. Yeah, yeah. I felt good. I was like, yeah. Yeah. She was about to
Yeah, it did feel nice. Y'all heard about what somebody else said, or was y'all involved in your own personal lives that you was not? Well, I was working on my music. I was, um, I was like, living my life. I, that's the exact okay. time for what people be saying. Who's cake? Oh, let me get cake. Hi guys. Hi, hi, how y'all doing today? Peace. Oh, hey, hey, we doing good. Peace, God. I like your hair. I, I follow you guys. Okay, peace, peace, guys. peace, I'm glad you came up and talked to us. All right. All right. Let, let me ask you a question. How you guys do your hair? How you guys do your hair good? We you just did it. You missed it. No, I ain't see it. Oh, oh, I just need my monologist here. Mama. How we do it good? We just don't touch it a lot. <laughs> and we just put, make sure we moisturize it with water and aloe vera and natural things. Natural things only. Okay. I okay. I I missed that one. That's why. It's okay. okay. It's okay. We'll Just stay tuned. Yeah, Keep stay watching. Follow us, babe. Yeah, we do different things. On I will. Okay. Right. Right. okay. Right. We'll do a whole head wrap live. Like, how did? Can you show us how to do the hair? I said I was gonna show y'all how to do the hair. Like, you did. Hey, Peace, guys. Hey. Girl. Guys. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Y'all, I want to ask y'all something. Like, <laughs> so how does it feel? To, like, I'm over here in Babylon. And, you know, I know my baby daddy be cheating already. But I asked him, like, that he wants to be in an open relationship, right? You know, just to keep down confusion. You know what I'm saying? Just to be transparent. So all of keep it real. So I know that he be fucking around anyway. But I don't know how I was feeling about that. Like I was like, how will I feel about that when he bring the woman to me? Will I try to lure them in and see if he gonna do the shit so I can jump on both of them? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I don't know how do y'all even handle, you know, doing that. Is it a part of my insecurity or, you know, that I don't want to? But I know in my mind that I still be with him. Like after I know that he have cheated, mm -hmm. and I say out my mouth like, just tell me what's up. You know what I'm saying? And then you know I'm still gonna be with you regardless. But Am I really ready for that when I say that I'm secure with my relationship because he never going to leave me for the next bitch? But on the same hand, am I trying to set them up so I can just catch them in the act and I fuck both of them up? You know what I'm saying? It's like hard. I don't know how y'all do that shit, though. Yeah. How would you do that? Because she's locked up for that. Yeah, because when you're in the moment, you don't know what you're going to do. Because my love is so hard like that for him because we've been together for so long and we got these three kids with each other, but he honestly been cheating through our whole relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, y'all should just be open because even the fact that you have to say he's cheating is a problem. Like it shouldn't be cheating. It should be an agreement. It should be open communication. It should be okay. Said, he's not like, he's not like he's right. But he has been in and out of jail also and i'm not gonna lie i have did my thing too you know what i'm saying i just don't do it when he's free and out but oh, like when so he in what you mean you do your thing what you mean you do your thing too yeah i got other i got another nigga too like that i fuck with but it's how i do my shit you see what i'm saying and but if he asks me what i what i've been doing while he been locked up i actually tell on myself and he cheats on me and blame me for what I did to him while he was locked up. You know what I'm saying? Girl, baby girl, hold up one second. Bring it back. Come on, so baby. you're asking the guy to be loyal to you, but when he's in prison, you're not loyal to him. Damn, dog. So, but I'm very. But I tell niggas like everybody know we live in a small town. Everybody know that like we we got three kids together. We've been together for 15 years. You know. So the guys. You so met like, the, the guys. You met I them, never like, leave. My man, like for him, for somebody else. Right. Advice, love. I don't think she wants advice. <laughs> what advice do you want? You want to defend your? Like, you want advice? 
if you can get look, Zoka, if you can give me advice, I don't know now, but go ahead. I want advice, but I'm I want to vent to y'all too, I guess. But at the same time, I know I want advice, but am I ready for that? <laughs> but I just want to keep it real though. You're not ready. You're not ready yeah. Keep watching. But no. I think you should have you and your um partner watch Baba G how he deals with us. And Look, he hate Baba G. He hate Baba G, honey. <laughs> Cause I listen to him all the time. I'm ready for my spiritual journey, but it's like my baby daddy. He hate Baba G. Hey, Baba G is the wrong man first, bro. Cause Baba G is enlightening everybody in that. Baba G be saying some real shit, though. You know. It's probably feeling like insecure, inferior. Mm -hmm. you know? But uh, he's not the right man. He wants to be. So, Baba G, but I do want to ask y'all one thing. Like, I like I'm older than all y'all, so I don't been around so so much. But I do want to. I admire y'all for the things that we hide over here. Like I'm sitting here telling y'all, he never leave me for a woman. I never leave him. But it's like I'm fighting out in a club. You know, I will, you know, flip out. But I know he gonna cheat. You know what I'm saying? But how do y'all deal with that? Like, don't y'all ever get jealous? Like, you have divine knowledge of self. Um, yes, I've gotten jealous in that position before. And it's all based in me looking at myself and why am I jealous? Why do I see this woman as separate of me? And at, like, it's a competition. When we have us loving the same man should be us being a team. Mm -hmm. Us going towards a mission and trying to accomplish something. You're only jealous because you have insecurities, you have yeah. not worked on it yourself. Yeah. And you're thinking to him you're gonna be um validated because he's he's telling right. he's telling me, baby, I'm I'm, I'm kissing out on you. But once he's not doing that, how do you feel by yourself? See, this is when you really get to understand who you are. But I feel like the reason why I'm insecure, because I know that, you know, I got his three kids. We've been together for so long. But I think he, the reason why I'm insecure, because he make me insecure by lying. Is this is why you go going to other men because you feel insecure? You see him with No, I go to other men because... But I know how to do my shit. Like the shit that I'm sitting here telling y'all right now, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody... Do that. That is actually the wrong. I'm not out at the club with niggas and stuff like that. I just know how to move and do my shit. That's a fact. Protect some hearts and some flowers in my. Don't don't let. That's crazy. Oh, let's get let's get Lex out here. Oh, do a panel. You gonna call in Lex? She said do a panel in. Who? Lex did. Y'all want to do, but y'all are very, y'all are very young, wise women, and I tip my hat to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, I'll be fighting. You know what I'm saying? I'll be fighting. I need to stop that though, because y'all have taught me like everything really reflect back to yourself and how you feel about yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I get it though. You can also, you re, it's really about perspective. Instead of looking at it as like, oh, he's with this other woman. He may like her more than me. Like, if you keep on thinking about the insecurity, that's the feeling and the emotion that you're going to feel. But if you look at it as like, okay, like, okay, she can help me with the kids. Like, I'm about to organize this. Like, how can I make this work right. for me? Change your perspective. It's and then, exactly. And you got to love yourself at the end of the day. Like, you offer something, she's going to offer something different, and y'all have to come together and be a unit. But, like, y'all man gave y'all a choice to be in that situation. It seemed like he don't give me that choice, though. You know what I'm saying? Because of all the lying. That's his nature, though. Nature, man. It's nature. Y'all need to talk. You know, yeah. yeah. Communication. Like, man, it's not a real Let him know that you're open. He need to listen to you. Yeah, and then see how he comes. Y'all, it's not even the right environment. You, you don't even. I think he's probably insecure too, though. Both of us, we both insecure. Yeah, y'all don't even know who y'all are. Trying to be in a relationship right. with each other. If people don't know who they are and they get into relations with each other, what do they do? But now it feel like I'm kind of stuck because I got all these kids. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to be with him? Hell yeah. 
I wouldn't want nothing more but to be with him. But his actions of all the cheating and I know he love us, but and I know we first, you know what I'm saying? I know he but it seemed like all the cheating and going out to the club and shit. Are you from Mississippi? Where are you from? I'm from South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. And these, I guess the nigga just fake as fuck. You just got to know. And I, he lost so much. So I'd be scared to keep it real with him, you know? Maybe. But the thing is, you said, like, you just said that you want to be with him. So now you got to take responsibility. Are the men not shit? Are the men lying? Are the men fake? Or are you accepting that and you're settling for that and that's who you want to be with? Girl, I've been accepting it and laying with it for so long. I'm telling you, me and him been together so for look, so long. Baby. Look, KB, at this point in your life, you you making the decisions, you're in control, and you're choosing the worst for yourself. You don't exactly. you don't want nothing better for yourself. And you're, so what you're saying is really I got the power, right? That's you always do. If you created the situation in the same way you created it, you can you can destroy it, you can create something new, but you decide what right. you do. And in this very moment, what you're saying is, yeah, I don't like my situation, but I'm going to settle in it because I, 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 I feel like you feel like you can't do better and you just like, man, this is my situation. And I got no, I just don't want to bring no another nigga around my kid. My, I, uh -huh. We got four boys. We got three boys together. Right. Well, we have a daughter. They grow up, but you know. you know what I'm saying. But we're not. We're not gonna look at that. We're just gonna look at oh, the present moment and what I feel in the present moment, and I'm just gonna move on my feelings. But the logic of it is that neither one of y'all know yourself. You don't know yourself. You're trying to fill fill whatever void you have in somebody else. You're you want him to be something for you that he's obviously shown you that he's not, mm -hmm. and still you you decide to fuck. Right. Him. And that's not his fault. You know what I'm saying? He is who he is. That's and right. if you decide to... Well, I just got to love him for the dog-ass nigga that he is. Yes. But you chose <laughs> that you want to say. So I just wish he could change. <laughs> that make you... No, no. People don't change like that. Like, you got to realize people don't really change. Like, now, I, he a dog, I, and I guess I'm a dog too then. <laughs> so that's you're, you're matching your frequency. And, now, nice. and if you decide in this moment that, you know what, I want something better... You can you can focus your mind on that and create something better for yourself. But that's if that's not what you want, you're gonna stay in your situation because you're comfortable there and you like it. Subconsciously, you like it. No matter what you say with your mouth. I, I, girl, I love it. I, I actually love him. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like all the, the bitches and you know You do like the, 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 the it. I think I just wanna know. You know how you have to just know? Did you communicate that with him? Did you communicate that with him? Like, he a liar. He lie when the truth will actually do. Like, for instance, like a girl called me and was telling me, and I wouldn't even know about her if I wouldn't have looked through his phone. But he'll actually tell me, and the girl can show me proof, text messages, screenshots, and he'll still lie. He went and smacked her to prove to me, and I knew that he was wrong. That he, he that type of nigga. Like, he a lie. What? Blindly to you, we keep lying. You would a man that <laughs> like you're not gonna want to go to another man. You say you um cheat on him or whatever you said. You, you talk to other. You're not gonna want to talk to any other man. And a woman only only supposed to be with one man anyway. Yeah, but I don't. He don't lie so much. It just, but I don't let it out known like. Like my cousin see him out at the club with another bitch or whatever, but I if I go fuck with a nigga, it'd be like definitely on the low, you know. Don't do that to yourself. You gotta love yourself. Do it to yourself. That's why you. That's why you're experiencing it through another person because you do it. And you're all the same. You're the same. Exactly. The same thing you said about him, you do. So you can't talk. That's your. You're trying to make it different, but it's not no different. Mm mm. So I suggest you change. If you want to see you changing your reality, you change yourself. That's the fact. Yeah, it all start with me, but it seemed like I done got so comfortable in this shit that we in, like with the kids and all. So yeah. right, you can't grow in at the same time. Figure out what you want to do and do it. So yeah, but uh, I love myself. I love myself. Thanks for coming up. I love myself. Bye, y'all. Keep tuning into us. Watching. And you need to make sure he watches. Yeah.
If yo, if he yo, teach no man, he is yeah. who he is. That's why I don't understand why people that's be true. like trying that's to true. change the man. I just think he can change. He, he, he is, is my body. That's, that's a clear that's indicator that he's not the one. That's so what I, I, right. I think that you gave her all of this advice that she needed. She did not hear none of it. People, people want that. <laughs> Somebody did though. It was bigger than her. But Somebody I, did. I didn't oh say you got to want to change. That was the message. Like you can't just be in a situation complaining about the situation. Mm -hmm. Stop bringing problems she's to your close, problems to your problems. Like, do you have a solution? Like, you're looking at the solution, you're hearing the solution, but you're still going back to your problem. So you don't want, you don't really want the solution. Like, that. that's right. Yeah, just keep watching. Watch, watch our videos on Asia Boy TV on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. We do videos every day about situations we go through. Mm -hmm. Avatar dot. You see all of this pop up. Mm -hmm. It reminds me like when I was in college and stuff. Um, I went to a predominantly white college and like we would all get on campus like, yeah, we should be treated the same. Black and white people, oh, we gotta be treated equal and we look at ourselves as victims, but you have to understand like you living within their world, their domain. Like mm -hmm. you gotta take responsibility and stop playing victim and just get out. It's not gonna be a change. It's not gonna be a change. I want to say something upon the situation of I want to say something um, about how she was talking about just on the subject of sharing sharing a man and uh, understanding that if you want a man of good quality, great quality, if you want a man who knows himself and who actually lives in divine knowledge of self, mm -hmm. if you want a man that is in complete submission to Allah, you're going to have to share. It's simple. You're going to have to share him. Why? Because oh. that man needs to reproduce himself. And you are the are the reproduction uh yeah, you're the cloner. Yeah. You're the cloner. You are the person that is going to be making and recreating this man. You are expressing Simple. Of his so if you if you want a quality man, a man that knows himself. Everybody wants a man that is, oh my gosh, he takes me to higher consciousness and he just elevates my mind. Well, if you want that type of man, you're going to have to share him because he's going to have a lot of women. You got to share what's rare. Share what's rare right? You got to share what's rare. Share what's rare and share if you care. Because at the end of the day, don't you want the world to be a better place? How can the world be a better place exactly. if you're the only one reproducing him? There got to be a lot of women reproducing him. Otherwise, it's not going to be better. Right. So... You know what I'm saying? Like one person. Don't be selfish. Oh. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to the world. Don't, don't do that for. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that for humanity. Because like, it's bigger than you. It really is. A lot of wounds. So come through. Come soon. Cause we in tune. And if you in tune, get you a get you a, get you a flight to. You know what I'm saying? This room. <laughs> Peace, God. Mind your business. So you think that, so we are supposed to be convinced that... You gotta, I, I did not hear you. You got to speak up. Project yourself. Project yourself or we're going to drop you. Hello? Yeah. Hey. Can you hear us? <clears throat> yes. Can What's you that? hear me? Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah. You How had a question? Me? Yes. How, how you ladies doing? Good. Good. How are you? Thanks for asking. Good, good, good. I'm sorry, I was kind of lagging a little bit, but that's okay. Um, but now that I have you guys, that I have you guys attention, I am trying to get into uh, what you guys were just saying about in order to have a quality man, you have to share a man. Big facts. Because they're rare. Yeah. So you tell the last caller, right? Wait, wait, let me make sure. Uh -huh. No, I wasn't the last call. No, 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 no. Oh, you didn't hear her? Here. You didn't hear her? No, no ma'am, oh. I didn't. So what was your question? About the landing. Uh, yeah, my question was, I was just trying to get into what you guys were saying about, uh, I caught the end of it about the quality man. I wanted you to run it by me again because I didn't catch it all the way. Okay. Oh, okay. So what I was saying was, Sorry. If you were if you were paying well, you didn't hear the last caller, but the last caller was talking about her issues with the guy that she was dealing with, which is her baby father, and how he kept cheating on her and kept lying to her. Are you, are you hearing me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so he she was complaining about her situation. The man is not 
he's not the man that basically he's not a man he's not man enough for her he's not taking responsibility and saying you know what i want many women he's just going out and cheating on her and lying behind her back and stuff like that and what i was saying was that you know what if you don't want that type of man you're gonna have to drop him and you're gonna have to find a man that you want to be with that's not gonna lie and not gonna do those things and i just right. I added on that uh, we done and we should. Um, I added on you're gonna have to actually start. The, yeah, but let me just say this and then we we'll do yes, it. Yes, that's facts. Um, I was adding on that if you're going to go and seek a man that is actually on divine knowledge of self or who knows we himself, can who knows himself, right. knows who he is, who knows he's he's God, and who lives this knowledge. Mm-hmm. He is going to be a man that attracts many women. Yes. And he's not going to lie about it because he's a divine man. He's a man that is, he is in complete submission to Allah. So he, he, doesn't, he doesn't lie. He's going to lie. Right. But I, I am a polygamous man. I'm, a man. I'm going to have many women. I attract many women. This is who I am. And that type of man is a quality man because he's a man that is very knowledgeable. He's very wise. He teaches you. He's able to give you divine knowledge of self so you understand who you are. And so why wouldn't you want to share that man? Because a lot of women need to be with that man so that that man could be reproduced. Exactly. Because we want children just like that man, right? Because that man is so great that you want more of him right. in the world. So you're going to you're gonna reproduce. And you're gonna want many women to reproduce him, not just yes. you. You're not gonna be like, oh, I want you. I want you to myself. Right. Yeah. Why would Why would you want him to yourself? That's not gonna change the world. Mm -hmm. You're only one womb. You only can reproduce once a year, and and you don't. A lot of women don't reproduce that many children like that nowadays. It's a It's a big It's a big thing to have a baby. Like that's a lot. So you need a lot of women for him to share. Right. So like I was saying. Somebody of quality that's not like a regular person, <laughs> you know, you're gonna want to share him because come on, like he's a, he's a rare, he's something that you don't come by like every day. So he's gonna attract many women. Oh, oh you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, okay, I see where you guys are going with this. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. I guess what you're saying it makes it makes sense what you're saying about you know, as far as a man being a quality man and a woman being to be, being able to produce only one child, and you want to be able to let you know you want to share so somebody else can have the experience that you have, right? So so that we can reproduce him, so that we can reproduce his mind. We could change humanity. That's the point. Because oh, okay. If, if we if we all have if we all have his child, then that's one, two, three, four, five children rather than just one child. And now we have five children that can go forth and, and share this same knowledge and change the world, and, and not just be right. So we can't do as much as five people. People are Literally. power. Mm -hmm. The more people you have, the more powerful you are. Oh, okay, so is that a is that is that a rich man? Is that a rich man like who taking care of all these kids? Yes, like that's that gonna man? be a wealthy man because his mind is so okay. He's rich with divine knowledge of self, so he's never gonna be a poor man because a poor man is has a poor spirit. He has a poor mentality. This is this is a that's why I say a quality man. He knows himself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. I was just trying to get the tail end of it. I really didn't get it all the way, but. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How y'all like it? That's all. It's good to uh, talk to you ladies. Y'all are very beautiful. I love your skin. It's glowing. Thank you. Thank you. We're about to open up a panel for everything, so we're going to be right back. Okay, okay, go ahead, baby. Love myself. Love myself. Love myself. Love myself. <laughs> and we do some. No, no, no. Uh, okay, call back up, y'all. <laughs> oh, I see they switch it to over there. Okay. Okay. Wait, how do you do this? 
All right, y'all. So we're gonna add some people to the panel. Remember, he said these are by rank. So if you want to put somebody if you don't know, put them in three first, and then do three, four, five. Okay, and then if we have anybody that. that. God. So when you when you click on their name, mm -hmm. it's gonna ask you what you where you wanna put them at. So we wanna put her in three. I mean, three. yeah, put her in three for hey, Just start with these, and then obviously if you get full, you could do that. But this is always for people who are more who are yeah. yeah. So three, three. Peace, guys. Peace. Peace. How are you? You want to sit right in the background behind you? Yeah, I, I just like to ask y'all sharing, man. You know. It's so childish. Peace, God. Peace, peace. Look, he was just cool with TKO. That's why I was like, damn, he got TKO. That fast was trying to. Excuse my hair, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already knew. Man, say. Hello? Funny ass shit for the day. <laughs> they came to 21. Hello? Her her okay, um, Ooh. I'm sorry. What's her name again? What was her name? I think her name was Beth. If you want to come up, your background cannot be like that. Yeah, you got to quiet down. Look at her face. Look at number three face. She wasn't even beautiful. Are you frozen? Oh, number three, you froze. I don't know if it's our end or not. Are we clear, y'all? Peace, Lex. Peace, Mama Lex. Peace, legs. I don't, I, or maybe Peace, guys. I hear you. I'm here. Let that pass. Let that pass by. Damn, Babylon sound like it's falling. Oh, who? We can accept it. All right. Peace, guys. Peace, guys. Okay, you're not going to say that. Hey, girl, well. B was back. Okay, put Z back. Maybe that wasn't her. Y'all sure? Make sure. you look. Yeah, I'm down for the challenge. You know, we're going to introduce ourselves once we get Yeah, we're going to introduce ourselves. No. You can be, come back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, she was cool. Look at Yeah, because she chose. Peace, guys. Peace, guys. Come back. Oh, okay. Nope. Well, he's, you can calm down if you um, Call me beautiful. Call out up. Chris. Why you can't I'm down? Uh, Click on your Twitter. Uh, Click on your name. Oh, she said this is a bad stop. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, there you go. Y'all know I'm in mommy mode <laughs> all the time. Okay. okay, you can mute your mic until we start the panel up. You can mute your mic. Okay. There we go. Hey. Y'all ain't turned to me. This is our first panel. This is it. Really? Well, we did one before, but it's been a minute. None of y'all going to camera with us? Come on, man. Hi, Lucky. Oh. Um. Y'all not going to camera. Y'all going to leave us hanging out. Oh. Hi. Hi, y'all. So, um, my name is Neosha. I'm 28. <laughs> I have five two beautiful kids. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas, Texas. I love Jesus. I love God. I love you. Oh, this is the panel for you. Mm -hmm. Don't say <laughs> well, well, we'll Jesus. Right? Right? You know, so, where are y'all from? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Make sure you make a Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Oh, I'm from Texas too. Yes, there you go. Y'all better follow each other. I have a question. Okay, we all introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was in my room. <laughs> Three, four. Oh, 
have a cool. I have a question too after. <laughs> Number three, make sure the background's not too loud because it's going to be interfering. Okay, you want me to calm down? No. It's okay. You don't mute, have to do it. Mute yourself if your background is loud because we really don't want to have to do that. If you know your background is loud and you got noise in the background, mute yourself. Okay, it's quiet now, so I think we got some control in here. Yeah, so if you have a question, when we ask about questions, then you can turn your mic back on and talk about, you know, ask your question. But if, in the midst of us talking, make sure that you guys just mute up or if anybody else is talking, mute up until they're done because it's apparently somebody has a lot of noise in the background. Yeah. And we don't want to have to drop nobody or mute the whole panel because that's a lot. So, yeah. But yeah. So I'm Mama Zoka. I portaled in through Long Beach, California. You you said yours already? Yeah. Mama. <laughs> okay, I'm Mama Sheba, and I portaled through Seattle, Washington. Peace, guys. I'm Mama Aya, and I portaled through Pasadena, <laughs> California. Now everybody's saying portal through. Right. Um, I'm Mama Knowledge. I'm originally from Chicago, but I came here from Los Angeles. Nice. So, yes. I, yeah. Wait. What? Okay, I make sure people could hear it. Or y'all, y'all the there? Cause that, are y'all there? Yes. Yes. We. Kita. <laughs> Hi. Um, Kiana, Washington D.C. Okay. okay. I lived there for a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of black people in Washington. Yeah. Washington yeah. Washington these people are different. It was mean. It was mean. Yeah, I lived there for like a year. Yeah, they crazy out there. <laughs> <laughs> I remember mean, I was like, hey, she was like, oh, Yeah. It's a whole different, yeah, a whole different vibe. Okay. Yeah. But you had said you had a question. <clears throat> Yes. Um, what if you don't, well, I love polygamy, but my significant other, he doesn't. Oh, really? Wait. That's backwards. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we've been together for like five years and I mean, he's a real man, a good, good man. I mean, he takes care of me. He provides. Even the children that I came into the relationship with, he provides for. And I asked him one day, and I was like, "What do you? Would you want to have like another wife?" And he said, "No, he doesn't believe in being with another woman. I'm enough for him, and stuff like that." So, what do you think about that? Like the way he thinks. Is that? I think he doesn't, think he doesn't know himself. So he's limiting himself to one woman because he feels like that's the social norm and in that environment, that's the right thing to do. He, he doesn't really know his, he doesn't have the mind out of himself. So he might feel bad for thinking that we're doing that. He might even think that you're tricking him. You relieve him or something. Yeah, like he think that I'm tricking him. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm so serious. Yes, oh no. No baby, it's just you. It's just yeah, that's, that's what he, he, tells, he tells me that I'm a nut and he doesn't want anybody else or whatever. So and he says that I'm I'm too much, so he doesn't want a woman. Yeah, some men may not handle that. Some men are not happy with 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 that. Some men are not able to control multiple women at once. Maybe they just need one woman. Not Every man is naturally polygamous, but every man does not have the energy to be polygamous. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. even the mindset to be polygamous. That's a right. fact. That's a fact. So maybe that's just him. Yeah, yeah. it really yeah. doesn't. No, I probably okay. should. Uh, <laughs> it's I know a handful. <laughs> and if, if, you know, if you really want that, like, I don't know. Maybe you need to bring a woman to him. Yeah, maybe like I want to try him. But he probably be like, That's what I'm thinking. If I bring a woman to him, I think his mind would change. Yeah, because he probably don't think he's serious. Yeah, he 
serious into you like actually she ain't serious yeah. but you could actually bring a woman and be like look this is she, my friend yeah she started she like i think you should start because she's interested yeah being friends with people like if you have friends and mm-hmm. like just be friends and be like yeah I, just have a bond with that woman first, mm-hmm. I say. Yeah, because I tested him out one time when we went to the strip club. I tested him out one time because I like I like stuff like that, and he did not like it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> he didn't like it. He didn't like he didn't like me, you know, interacting with another woman the way I was, you know. Hey, you should. Yeah. See, that's a guy. You can say that. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah, he might naturally just not have the energy to control more than one woman or have that much energy of women's energy around him. Mm-hmm. He might be being honest with you, and you shouldn't be steering him. You should take the, let him take the lead. Okay, okay, that's good. All right, thank so, you. Yeah, it's, not right. it's lagging. Who said that? Like you said, hey, like, but you was, hold on. Sure or is it just fine? Is it lagging for everybody else or? No, it's clear. Okay, it's not- sorry. It was just mine then. I, I, I don't know. I'm nobody, nobody else is cammed up, so we can't It's clear for us. It's clear. I'm looking on the phone. It's yeah. Clear. It's clear. Okay, so I'm up down because I got my. Oh, they said the audio. Oh, the audio. Yeah, not the picture, the audio. But um, okay. The best, I mean, best and better. <laughs> you guys, are, I think it's it should be better, yeah. She's getting, I don't hear nothing on three. Do you have questions? Her mic. Yeah. Uh, who's next? Whoever. Oh no, you guys can. Yeah. Oh. Well, my turn. I I don't know how I don't know how you should judge or nothing like that. But like, please don't judge me when I say I say I w- Cause like I've been judged on too many times and stuff like that. So I be scared to speak out on it and stuff because um I've been in a relationship with my baby father for like. A long time and stuff mm-hmm. like that. After what he done to me and everything, it was hard for me to trust another man and stuff like that. And I told, I kept telling myself, well, I don't want to date no other man. So I got tired of dating men and everything. So I was like, okay, I just want to date like try women and stuff like that. So now me and this other girl, we had broke up and everything and. You know, it didn't went left and stuff like that. So now it's kind of hard for me to, like, move on or trust anybody else. And then here's the situation. People, I feel like that she don't understand. When you have kids, does it mean that you plan with the pe- with the person's heart that was in the relationship? That's what she don't understand and stuff like that. Because now I keep, I keep telling her, well... My kids have to suffer. You don't have kids. I have. They have to suffer. So yeah, I kept telling her that, and now the relationship is all the way off, and she had moved on. But I kept asking myself, even though she had moved on, do you ever think she's gonna ever come back to the relationship? Even though she kept accusing me, she kept. I feel like she was using me, and every every. I didn't gave her money. I didn't bought her stuff. Why would you? That's what I was thinking in my mind. I was like, do you want her? Yeah. Why would you after all that? You gotta love yourself. Yeah, that part. You can't buy love exactly. Yeah, you gotta take time for yourself. You love yourself. I think you're you're searching for something outside, which you're supposed to go within, which is outside. You know. You need to love yourself. Yeah, you need to really take time to you, and then you will trust to be able to trust other people. Then you trust yourself. You trust what you're vibrating toward. And then. And then after that, after that, I I was asking her, can she be by my side? Because I just lost, I just lost my auntie in class 020, this this year right here that we just, 
got done with, I just lost my auntie because she had lung problems and she couldn't breathe. So she was like, okay, yeah, I can be by your side. And after the funeral, she just broke up with me. Yeah, because you can Cause expect you people to do that. You ask her in a vulnerable state, you ask her to come and support you, mm-hmm. even though she didn't really, it's Wanted not to. with you. But she was like, okay, I'll be there for you. But then we go back to what reality is. Yeah. That's why I keep I keep asking myself every single day. Do she ever? Do you ever think she's gonna come back? Is she's gonna come back? Like, in my some of my friends are like, yeah. You gotta look at yourself and see why you want that toxic person back in your life. Because that's not good. You're still the boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good if you want that energy and you're not. Is she building you up? Is she make? Is it a teamwork? Is you? Is it business? Why do you get it from the situation? Mm-hmm. Let's get off the facts. Seems like you're matter. overgiving yeah. and expecting something that you're not getting. And you just mm-hmm. keep giving and giving and giving, expecting something, but it's not coming. And I think the universe just wants you to be like, hey, okay, let me just take all of that energy that I'm trying to give someone else to love me. And I'm just going to give it to myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to love myself. I'm going to spend time on me. And once I'm on a frequency of truly understanding and knowing myself, I trust that whatever comes to me will be a better match sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's going to be another test. Mm-hmm. Yes, a decoy. <laughs> a decoy. It's a new new. Exactly. And you, you know what I kept on saying? When she when she left my life, I, I cry every single day. I will cry over her and be feeling sorry for myself. I'll be saying, what what have I done wrong? And then okay. I'll be the accuse me. Accuse yeah. me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like when she gave her advice, it was like, you're not loving yourself. Mm-hmm. So, and then that clearly that person doesn't, you guys don't know yourself, you don't know, so you're not going to know each other. Mm-hmm. And so it's just hurt people hurting people at this point. That's what you're you're, you're avoiding being alone. You're avoiding being with yourself. And you have to start to develop like That's self-esteem mm-hmm. or self-respect for yourself because the Most High um, Chief Baba G, he teaches us that like, if you don't respect yourself, you don't have those that for yourself, then you can't expect anybody else to give that to you because what you are looking for is within yourself. That's the fact. What do you like to do? What do you love? Well, since after she done that, I have realized, okay, it's time for me to be a better mother. I have being a brother mother now after she left my life i focus on my kids they come first and then i'm focusing on my new job i just god has blessed me with two good jobs two good jobs and i take care of my mama yeah and none of that energy is going to you none of that's to you what are you love to do what do you like to do what makes you happy my kids yeah. And that's not even that's not for you, you yeah. either. Dang. So you're saying that you don't do anything for yourself? None, none well, of the I, like, I like to go get my hair done, my nails done. You know, you like done dance? what is your natural gift? Like, what did you like to do as a child? Yeah. Oh, I love arts and crafts. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's it. So you like painting and stuff like that? Yep, that was my favorite. Do you have any art pieces you can show us? Nope. You no. probably don't do it. I can draw, but I can't do none of that. There it is. Yeah, you have to start finding time for yourself and find that space. Yes. And then you'll find out that you really don't want that person. Once right. you start to love yourself and love your life, I don't want you here. I don't want that. Nothing messing up my space. something to love them and look for something that's just going to change their life but you're looking for you you're yeah. looking for yourself yeah we all going to be disappointed too if you don't if you do not bruh and then you're going to be in that ball crying again yeah you're going to be expecting 
The universe is trying to teach you. All this You're always going to be disappointed. It's straight up, though. I'm sorry. Pain and suffering? You don't want to be doing that again. That's, That's supposed to be a lesson learned. That's yeah, like I said, like I said, I never did really had a childhood because I had my baby young. I had my ba- my first daughter at the age of sixteen. Oh, she's waiting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. You know, back to your life because yeah. that's that's what you need. Yeah, right? you gotta start getting into you. Yeah. yeah. Period. Make sure you tune into Nature Boy TV and Baba G on Nature Boy. That's on YouTube. Also. Yeah, that's why I kept on saying I never did have no childhood. After when she was young, yeah. it was hard. Tune in and watch that stuff because that's really gonna help you reprogram your mind, mm-hmm. and your life is gonna be way better. So when you go to sleep, is the best time to listen to the download. Yeah, and stuff that's gonna change your mind. That's, that's, your mind. Mind. that's a big fact. And then mommy has a uh, number two. Mommy, you got a question? You said you had a question. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a question. Okay, so a little bit about my background. Me and my man been together for like five. Years. We wait, have- wait, wait. What's your name? Yeah. Where you from? I mean, let's yeah. you call my Oh, okay. Well, my name is Shalia. Um, I'm from Milwaukee. Yeah. Wisconsin. Where you from? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, she's from Milwaukee. <laughs> So me and my man, we've been together for like five years. We have a one-year-old son. I'm sorry, young king here. Okay. And um, so mainly, okay. I he's the only man I've actually ever been with. I've been with girls like through high school all the way to meeting him. It was just something very different about him. His presence, the way. Even other grown men. I'm sorry, baby. Here. You can't play with that one, though. I'm sorry. But um, even just how other grown men, like, you know, react to him. It's just something about his presence. So, you know, I was very attracted to him. Um, we, from time to time, have fun with other women. Y'all your bag. Huh? What was you saying? Tap your bag. Number oh. four, tap your Okay, there you go, number two. So you said from time to time you have fun with other women. You, you, yes, you so both- from time to time we have fun with other women, and we both became very fond of a particular girl. So I'm very open to polygamy, but how do you, like, train your mind to not be bothered <laughs> by how other people look at you or... Even just train your mind to not be insecure with that relationship because it's been me and him for so long. So I think I would be hurt or upset if I felt like he started to fall in love with uh, the other woman out of love with me. Like, how do you create balance so it can be a happy relationship with everybody? So first... You want to start by remembering the times that you guys did have and to know that nobody, not even that woman is able to take your place, you know, lessen the bond that you have with that man. And so if you see them together and they're, it looks like they're having like a, a exciting time, then you have to remember that, okay, it's her time now because I've had all this time with him, so I've spent all this time with him. Yeah. And so you can also look at it like, oh, that's me. This is what this looks like when he's tugging on me or he's um, like loving on me. And you see him on her, he's like, oh, that's what that looks like when he's hugging on me, when he's doing it to me. Okay. And you also have to work on yourself, like. If you're feeling insecure, insecure, you have to look at that. Sit there and ask yourself, like, why am I feeling that? Allow way? yourself to feel it and like, identify why right. am I feeling like that? Right. And then correct it. Yeah. It's, it's not correct. Yeah. Because you can't, when you're in that situation, you can't ever point blame on the other person because they just want to feel loved or feel the love that you get, right? Right. So it's like you have to be able to sit with yourself and sit and reflect on why you're feeling insecure. Uh-huh. Or you yourself. Why do you feel like you want to hold him and constrain him for yourself? Why? 
You have to look within yourself and be like, oh, because probably when I was out this, or when I was growing up this, or my father wasn't there. So you have to see all these things and understand and pinpoint the root of it mm-hmm. and communicate through it all the time. Mm-hmm. You have to always be talking about your, if you have an emotional situation and how you view her, view him in the situation, you have to communicate it because you have to rebuke. You have to, and you want to rebuke that because by you expressing it, the reality is going to start communicating to you back like, no, that's not what it is. This is a pure way of seeing it. But it, it's all about who you're in a situation with if they're going to give you pure advice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's a really tricky situation. You get in a polygamous relationship with other people and other energy. Right. We don't know. What's like, intent? okay, so what's your intent? What do, you, what do you want to build with this polygamous relationship? Where are y'all going? Where, what is y'all um, right. goal? Um, to be honest, He's never actually said he wanted to pursue a relationship with another woman. We just have fun. But like I said, we both became very fond of this girl. Like me and her have hung out together on our own and it's been a ball. We wasn't intimate on our own. We've always been like a threesome, you know, but we've definitely hung out on our own. So I don't know. I think I think really I want to bring it to his attention. But I just know that there's a part of that would be jealous at times. Like, but even though he validates me and he still separates me from anybody else that we have brought into our bedroom, like he still makes me different. So I'm sorry, my baby is having the time of his life right now. <laughs> but, Give me another He's like, stop telling you and daddy's business. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's like at the end of the day, like what's your purpose? Like what's your what's your purpose in life? Well, I own property. Um I own my well, I bought my first foreclosure at twenty one and I bought it right before like two months before my twenty second birthday. So right now I have three duplexes and a four unit. So I I'm a for to be young, I'm pretty well managed. And I'm not even counting the house that I live in right now that I also uh, so your purpose is to buy property? I find joy in buying foreclosures and fixing them up. So I don't know. I guess I'm a Libra, so we like to help and fix things and people. So I guess I found that in homes instead of people because people used up so much of my energy where it's just been draining and homes can't really drain you that energy like people can. You're dedicating your whole entire life to building up, to buying and selling. Yes, and my son, my son is my whole world. So the property allows me to to be able to be very hands on with him. Well, uh, the reason why I asked is because in the beginning you had said, "How do I change uh, uh, how do I my mind?" You said, "How do I change my mind?" Or um, and you used a certain word, but I can't remember what it was. Everything that's in the background, all of it, yeah. is training your belief within 
Um, what do you mean by that? Like, and are you living in an environment that is natural to you? Like, are, are you able to walk outside right now, barefoot, no clothes on and be comfortable? Like, are you living in an environment that you can get your food off of the tree like, right there? I, or I, are you I could walk outside uh, natural. <laughs> I'm, I'm I wish I could walk outside natural. I'm natural right now, but that's because I'm in my home. But I do have a garden in the back, but I have neighbors. So if I was to step on my front porch, people would see me. When I say so, natural, I'm talking about an environment that you have access to all your resources. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to pay nobody to get them because you have access to them. Like you have a clean water flow right near you that you can have access to. You have food, organic food that you have access to. You have premium sunlight that you need because that feeds your melanin. You need UVB, that yeah. feeds your melanin. But like, do you have everything that you need to be, to, to sustain your life? Or are you in an environment that like you said, it's draining you. People are draining you. I don't really have access to. I have to go get this job so that I do have access to some things that I need. But it's not my natural environment. That's what I, I mean have by the things I need, but it's not a natural environment. Right. So your so your mind has been trained to be unnatural. That's it. Because it's not a natural environment. So everything. Oh, you when you was a kid, then you came out the womb, has been to be unnatural. You're not, you're not natural. You're not a natural human. So your mind, that's what your mind is trained to do. So you're asking, how can I train my mind to not be jealous? Well, to not be jealous, you won't have to be in your natural environment. Yeah. Because your whole entire environment is teaching you be in competition with everyone, mm -hmm. and you gotta be better than this person. Everybody gotta look better than this person. And then, like everybody's in competition with each other. Everybody mm -hmm. want what everybody mm -hmm. else has. Right. right. Everybody's mm -hmm. looking at my life, me, 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 and nobody's looking at. Yeah. Everybody's living in separation. Mm -hmm. So you gotta get out that environment if you wanna train your mind to be something else beyond. That's that. a whole. And then bad. after you get out of that environment, you have to reprogram your mind. You have to reprogram your subconscious mind. Because you've been taught these ways that you have to get back to a natural state of being. And a lot of people who, I don't know if, how long you've been following us or if you've heard Babaji's story, but he's been to a point in his life where he's accumulated a lot of material wealth. And I see that with you. You speak of accumulating a lot of material wealth. But your purpose in this in, on this earth is to be a, to be you, to go within and find yourself through divine knowledge of self. Right. And so a lot of people get drained from being in that world and having to always have their mind focused on accumulating like material wealth and things like that. To, and then you will do that till you get to the point where you're tired of it and you're going to be searching for something you're going to be searching for something else. You're going to be asking yourself, why do I feel like this? Why am I not happy with my life? And that's where you have to focus. But uh, it's something that you found us now because that's you can, like, right I, now, I think she just came up here for relationship advice. Yeah. She just got a hold down. I apologize. <laughs> so right, now, right now, what we're doing is planting right. seeds. We're planting seeds in your mind. That, that's rerouting your mind to think about your spiritual journey instead of putting the material world um, above you. Above right. Because right. like what my mom was saying, with, 
you wanting to be in polygamy is truly not going to work in that environment because your man's not even going to feel man enough in that environment feeling like, yeah, I got a woman. Isn't it illegal off to, isn't it illegal to be polygamous? Right. So we have to be really calculated. Why is why is that? Why did your man not feel like a man illegal? in that environment? Because he's not the one that's giving you protection and pro- providing for you. Yeah, you can provide for yourself. You just told me everything why you didn't need a man because you have independent this, 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 you got that, that, that. So in reality, do you even need your man? But in the natural world, you need your man. You need to be dependent on him and understand, like, he's my mind. I have to be able to wait for him to bring food home or to go get water for us, to protect me and my child, and so I can cultivate into him and have his mind. You can't even truly be a feminine energy. You can't even truly be a woman in that environment. You're just looking, trying to be your own independent person, right. yeah. providing for yourself. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. providing for yourself. Yeah. And your know, man's like, what you need me for? What you need another woman for? So I can feel less like a man? Right. You can't even be a man. The, the, the whole point, like, if you're gonna accumulate wealth, the whole point is to remove yourself from that environment, right? And and be in tune with who you truly are. And so, like, yeah, you can add multiple women to your situation in Babylon, but guaranteed, it's not going to be any of any fulfillment or any true purpose of divine purpose at all because you're you're living in an unnatural environment. Yeah. yeah. And so y'all are just gonna end up being a whole like. That's why she was asking, like, what's the purpose? Like, what is the mission? Why are you doing it? Because yeah. if there, if that's not founded, if that's not a foundation, the whole thing gonna crumble anyway. Right. You know, there's there's three C's to success that the Most High Chief Biology teaches us. The first one is commitment, and when you're committed to something, then that means that's it. That's what you're gonna do. Period. You guys have an agreement of what you of what we're doing, why we're here, our purpose here, and you guys are committed to it. The second one is communication, to be able to talk about whatever's going on. How can, if there's ever an issue, because we did come from an unnatural environment, mm. we did come with generational curses, we did, we were born into a nicotine. So now we have to come in, and now whenever we have an issue, we have to communicate about mm. it. Right. And we have to do this on a consistent basis. So the last C is consistency. Mm. We have to be consistent in these things, otherwise we could fall off easily. We could fall off our path. We could fall off of doing the righteous thing because we are not applying these things. Anybody who's successful has to apply these three C's. Yeah. That's a point. So <laughs> that's a whole that's point. A whole point. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Respect. I, I thought she said that's a point. I thought you were gonna say something. <laughs> I know, right? It, it does kind of sound like it's like, it, it kind of sounds a little bit like yeah. Number like, two, number two <laughs> stuck. She's like, yo, I will. No, I'm taking it all in, but. I- this conversation is definitely fulfilling. Oh, man. Yeah, what's your perspective now? I'm interested to hear what your perspective is right in this moment. Right. Um, to be honest, I still would like to try to add someone to our relationship. Your desire is going to leave that into a toxic Inner, inner, uh, it's just gonna be toxic. You're yeah. gonna be disappointed and you're gonna be hurt at the end of the day. Right. Okay. Well, the thing is, it's like that that environment is uh, allowing you to to practice the seven deadly sins, and one of them is lust, greed. One of the one of them is uh, vanity <laughs> or envy, like you said. <laughs> a lot of and this environment is promoting you to indulge in a seven deadly sin. <laughs> so you can fulfill desires in that. That's why people are that. They can fulfill all their desires of just being, and they want to feel it. But everybody's hurting, truly. Yeah. Nobody is really happy. You know why? Because those desires are trying to lead you to a point of being in tune with yourself, recognizing that you're not in tune with yourself, so that you can get in tune with yourself. That's it. It's trying to lead you to a point of, like, did you get enough suffering yet? Do you want to surrender to the universe? Do you want to enter into your path? Natural yeah. way. You want to come into a spiritual awareness, a spiritual journey of you yeah. Oh no. Um. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta let go of your desires, and right. sometimes that means you have to deny yourself because you have to discipline yourself. You have to be a very disciplined person to come into divinity. Right. Right. Chai Chi Bible teaches us this. Because yes, that's, that's, that's the way. Crazy. Discipline that I that's, needed to work on my self discipline. Yeah, that's right. Discipline is a true way to train yourself to not be insecure or not have wanting to fill your voids or be 
envious, envious of somebody because if I discipline myself to be by myself and not go into any relationship that's open to me, and I sit with myself, I have to be with myself 24 hours of the day, 18 maybe. So I'm here and I have to be like, wait, I ain't got nobody talking to me. I ain't got nobody telling me I'm beautiful. I ain't got nobody touching on me. No stimulation. Hold up, wait a second. I gotta sit with myself. I gotta understand what it is my mind wants, what I want to do with my life. Right. Because the other person makes you feel like they're doing something. That's just a decoy. That's just something in your face, like, hey, hey, entertain, entertain. You look, you think you think you're doing something. Hey, hey. And in reality, you're like, your life has passed you by, and you left with what? People are like, I've been in a relationship for 15 years, right. and I don't have nothing. Right. Because you were literally involved in a fantasy, right. involved in something that was not deep rooted in yourself. So it left you feeling like empty because you, you gave all of you when you never gave into you. Like you gotta give into you, boo. That's the way you can really like be disciplined and see, okay, I'm gonna be insecure as so I see someone else giving a hug. I'm gonna I'm gonna be as if I see her get sit, get called beautiful. No, I'm gonna wake up every day and look in the mirror and be like, damn Zoe, you're beautiful. I love how you do that. Oh my gosh, you just did a song and be in your craft. That's that. Do what you love to do. And then be into you. And then the next time you see you then you see that and you see him say, Oh, you're beautiful, you're gonna be like, Oh, oh my yes. God. I say, you're right. you're right. you're right. right. too. Right. Like, like, yes, like Mama I said, I see too. myself when he's hugging me. Yeah. I feel separation. But if I consciously be like, that's how, no, subconsciously, that you have mirror receptors, right? Mirror neurons. Mirror neurons. So I'm seeing you do something subconsciously, that's me doing it too. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no separation. Girl, brother. We good? Yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. It's been nice, though. I hope you keep following us and Anybody talking to us. Any questions? about to take it down anybody yeah. that still had questions you know join us tomorrow and you know what i'm saying ask your questions yeah, yeah. and it was good though it was yeah. fun we'll it was a nice tomorrow. chat got really i like the panels yeah. i love myself thanks for looking out tt thank you baby peace god that's not true I don't know. No, but I that's not true. I know. Yeah, let's talk about that. Okay. Bye, y'all. Oh, y'all finish it? Yes, no, 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 no. All right, no, no, y'all. Love myself. Bye, bye.